Hi friends. <clears throat> Welcome to the Misfit Light. I'm Rachel LaForce. It's May. We've made it. Uh, congratulations, because I'll tell you what, getting through April was not for the faint of heart, okay? So welcome to The Misfit Light. If you're not familiar, The Misfit Light is a community all about self-personal development. Self-personal, that's like saying ATM machine. We said it twice. It's all about uh, harnessing this new version of yourself, doing that internal work, and doing it in a community with other people, doing it in a way where you get to choose what does that mean for you, and a place where we have all sorts of different people from different walks of life that are coming together and sharing in something. So it's really a beautiful way for people who feel like they have been misfits in the past or they don't exactly know where they fit in, or I always say it feels like, to me, I identify a misfit as society feels like we're all in this marching band and everybody's walking forward and everybody's got their, you know, matching uniform and everyone's like, da, 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 da. Right, and everybody knows what to do, and it's like everybody else knows the choreography. And then there are a few of us that feel as though we're in the middle of this marching band, but we're turned around facing the wrong way, going, I'm sorry, how does everybody else like know what they're doing? And like, you know, it just kind of feels like we're topsy turvy and all spun around, right? So that's for those of us that are artists, healers, late bloomers, creatives. Um, all of these different people that are kind of coming together and being like, you know what, I'm ready to do things a different way and I'm ready to do them in a way that makes me feel lit up and a way that makes me feel secure. And that is what the Misfit Light is all about. So we are starting a new series. So we do them based on the month. So we can also kind of move with the energy that that month is offering us kind of that collective energy that we can tap into. And so April was really this giant threshold for all of us, right? Even if maybe you weren't aware of it, I'm sure if I sat down with you for a little bit of time, uh, we would probably connect and I'd go, yeah, you probably walked through a few fires in April, right? There was really this bridge of kind of this new version of ourselves, knowing how we wanna walk, knowing what we wanna do, and that's where we are now. So in May, we've got this four part series that is all about harnessing this new version of ourself. We did all of this work. We've let all of these people go. We've, you know, all of the, wherever it is that you are in your, as I define, hashtag journey, right? We're all in different places. May is the month that allows us to really anchor in and be like, yes, this is who I am. This is where I'm going. And it allows us to like get comfortable, right? I always say like in the second act of any like hero's journey, you know, it's always like they're learning how the force works or they're learning like whatever the big thing is that they're getting ready to like set out to do. The second act is all about them harnessing that thing and getting ready to go and get what's next. So that's really what May is. May for us is really this opportunity to actually like harness all of these new skills that we've been developing and like getting used to like, excuse my French, like who the fuck we are now. Right? Like, okay, cool. I've been doing this internal work. I've been maybe that's been reflected on the outside of my life. And now it's kind of like, okay, we have like four weeks to really anchor in and figure out how do we want to feel and how do we want everything to look and materialize as we move forward. So we broke that down into four weeks. Today we're going to be talking all about security. Also, if I'm looking over and you're like, what is she looking at? Um, oh my God, think, uh, you're so welcome in advance. I make a free workbook for every month. So for the full series, you can go and download it from like the link in my bio. You can join my newsletter and you can automatically get it that way. Um, you can always DM me on any, like, uh, actually on any story really. And you can DM me misfit and then it'll be delivered directly to your inbox. So there's a million ways to obtain this and it's completely free to you. And uh, it's just a way for you to kind of like follow along and like you can keep notes, you can come back to it in your own time uh, because this replay will live TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, all of the places. So that way you can kind of circle back and take from it what you need. So we're, this week we're going to be talking all about security. 
Next week, we're going to talk about surroundings. The week after that, we're going to talk about new paths. And then the week after that, we're talking about give and take. Okay. So uh, in the workbook, it just says, welcome to May. Oh, month five, we've really done some deep work this year and I want you to be so damn proud of yourself because you know that I'm proud of you. May is for deepening our roots. We used April as a threshold, a month of soft integration and May is here for us to firmly plant the roots of who we are now and lay the groundwork for where we're going. This month, we aren't asking for the force to be with us, we're asking it to live in us. Cool? So this week on The Misfit Light, we're talking all about security. Uh, and so we need to build up our sense of self-security. Additionally, what lives and supports us outside of ourselves? So really how I break this down every month is into three questions. Our brain can really only process any three things at any given point. Um, and I'm highly ADHD, so I make sure that I'm teaching you in the same way that I learn. Uh, so if you are, uh, n you know, not neurodivergent, you're going to slam dunk. You're going to crush. Okay. You can be my Scotty Pippen. So, uh, the three questions are around security is one, do I trust myself? Do I trust myself? The second is who makes me feel safe? And the third is financial security, right? And the whole purpose for this is that where you're going and what you're wanting to do requires so much self-trust and security and being so anchored into who you are and where you're going and what you want to do. Like it is relentless and we really need it to be innate. We want, we want to get to the place where like, we're not always thinking about it, right? It's just kind of like a thing that we do. We anchor in, right? So the first part is like, do you trust yourself? And your initial answer is probably like, yeah, of course, Rachel. Like, of course I do. Uh -huh. Um, and then if we talk for a little bit longer and I ask you a couple of questions, we're probably very quickly going to uncover that perhaps you don't trust yourself as much as you think you do. No shade, okay? Just speaking from my own experience. And I'm like, I don't self-sabotage, <laughs> okay? I trust myself. Uh, I'm going after my goals, right? And then the more you kind of break it down and look at it, you're like, oh, maybe I'm not really doing as much work as I think that I am, right? So this first question is, do I trust myself? And I ask you a little bit more saying, you may have very strong visions for your future, but do you truly trust that you can get yourself there? Do you trust your instincts and do you trust your innermost desires? Because typically most people, if I ask them and I say, well, you know, what do you really want or what are your biggest dreams? And a lot of people would be like, well, my dreams aren't possible or dreams are for other people or we have all of these things why other people get things and we don't. And so even that question of do you trust yourself, it may be like uncovering what is the true reality of what you want. And that's a tough thing to sit with sometimes because sometimes our dreams make us feel embarrassed. Like dreams are embarrassing. You know what I mean? Like vision boards are embarrassing. Goals are embarrassing. They just are like you know, and, and so it's like, okay, well, like, do it embarrassed, you know? Like, there are so many people out there that are, like, going after exactly what they want and, frankly, have no business doing such, right? And they have no problem feeling embarrassed or putting themselves out on the line. So that really allows us to get to a place of, like, well, why not you? Like, why not you? Because then the more we kind of like uncover that and ask more question, questions, which is what we're going to do through this series here in May, that the more we like open that up, the more that we like open up this and like peel back this onion, there's going to be more truth that comes up. And that's great. That's great. Like that's what we want, right? Like we want to know like what is the brass tacks of what you want and where you're going or where you think you're going, right? Um... Because again, if you can't even admit to yourself that like what you want, you like do or do not think is possible, then like, let's just stop right there. Like there's not even any like moving forward beyond that point, right? So that's something to sit with. The second one is who makes me feel safe? 
who makes me feel safe? Um, and I have here like, repeat after me. We no longer spend time with people who make us feel uh, ick, period, right? Like there's probably a lot of people, again, I won't speak for you, but in my circumstances, I'd be like, oh yeah, they're my best friends. Or like, oh my God, I love them. Or like, ah. Oh. And then if I really saw, like sat down and thought about like the way that they made me feel, um, or the way I, nobody makes you feel a certain way, but the way I felt while being around them, the way my nervous system felt being around these people. And I'm like, oh, holy shit. Like, maybe uh, these are not my best friends. Maybe these are not my people. And I don't feel safe. And so, especially, it's interesting of like, you can't trust yourself if you're still allowing yourself to hang out with people who don't make you feel safe, who don't make you feel seen. Like, of course, you can't say that you trust yourself. Because you feel like you've been putting yourself in all of these situations with people where you're not being seen, where you're not feeling supported, right? There's no judgment. Like, we're all just out here doing the best we can. You know what I mean? On a spinning rock. So, in an infinite universe. So, go easy. But I think that these are really important questions to ask yourself, especially for where you are now. Creating the sense of security is paramount to, go, like, to getting you where you want to go. And this third question is about financial security. Because where you are right now and where you're headed and where you're wanting to go, you're gonna have a lot of transition. There's gonna be a lot of things going on. And maybe for you, even part of this like self uh, security is like getting out of debt or moving all of your bills to auto pay or excuse me, like whatever that means for you or like you're wanting to be able to build up to leave your job, to open your own business or like, I think we, the, the narrative is changing, but we live in a society where money is so, we don't talk about it yet. Like it is the highest energy that we all feel, right? Like if you're valeting your car and you feel like you have a shitty car and somebody in, for, in like in front of you has like a brand new like Porsche or whatever, like that could feel like it's screaming to you, right? Or maybe you grew up with a bunch of money. So money is not at all like anything you've ever thought about. Or maybe you're starting to make money on your own. Like we, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. How much money do you have? How much money do you actually need to get to where you're going? How much money do you need to start the business or the thing that you're wanting to do? Like we have to take stock of these very earthly things because that's so much, at least for me and my, you know, journey and lessons learned is it's like, you can't do all of this internal work without also allowing it to align with, as I define it, the earthly politics of things. So great if you're like, no, I'm feeling like so aligned and like, I'm just like feeling so good. And it's like, okay, but are you, you know, like, are you getting your rent paid? Are you like, there's just all of these other things that it's like, great, I'm glad you feel good. There's also other things that like have to get done. So we want to make sure that those things align because feeling financially secure and I've been in places in my life where, you know, I've did comedy professionally for a very long time. So there's been plenty of times in my life where I've not at all felt financially secure. So being able to make these moves and doing the things that you want to do, getting honest about financial security and whatever that means to you is really important to make sure that we set off next for where we're wanting to go, okay? So again, our three questions surrounding security, and again, this, this whole May series is all about harnessing this new version of yourself, and it's like, okay, I know who I am now, I know where I wanna go, and like, it's time to walk in that direction. These are the things that we have to have. They're absolutely paramount to anchor in for ourselves so that we can get to where we're going, okay? And this whole first week is about security. Do I trust myself? Do I trust myself to go after what I want, to say what I want, to be honest about it? All of that is, like lives right here and we need to know, okay? And then the second part is who makes me feel safe? It's like me and then outside and around me, right? Do you have people on your team? If you're building a business, do you feel like they're invested in you and the business? Are they invested in themselves, right? 
like all of, all of these different things so we can understand the layers of safety that perhaps we do or do not have in our life right now. And then that third one, so it's the even like um, outermost ring, which is that financial security. And being able to define those things for ourselves is so, so important. So those are the three things that I'm going to leave you with. Uh, and then next week, we're going to be talking all about surroundings. So we're even going to take it from like the sense of security in our inner world. And then like, pff, we're going to go out, out and out. So we're going to kind of start again from the middle and peeling that onion all uh, May to keep kind of like peeling it back and going more and more and more. If you're finding that these videos are helpful for you, that you feel attracted to them, there's some part of you that's like, ooh, that's that's me, um, may I ever so humbly, I encourage you to sign up for my newsletter. It's also free. I won't spam you, okay? But I do a monthly kind of like energy forecast every month. So if you feel like these, these is maybe language or things you're starting to um, find your way to, I highly encourage you to jump on that newsletter. Uh, the May newsletter actually goes out tomorrow. So uh, tonight, if you see this, you can still jump on that and receive the May newsletter. Um, so it really just kind of helps you anchor in, like I said, <clears throat> each month to what the collective energy is and kind of what is next for us so you can keep moving on your journey. So that's it for me. Uh, again, for all of my misfits, we and my team are working on figuring out a better way for all of us to meet so we're bringing this in and bringing this together uh more and more so we're going to kind of be creating a uh, like an actual online community as well as we're gonna be doing more live events here in the atlanta area coming up so certainly stay tuned for all of that but for now be good to yourself take care of yourself i'm so glad you're here uh, and I'm really, really excited for this month because there is so much safety here and allowance and opportunity to show up as this version of ourselves and show up for what it is that we want. Um, so I'm really, really excited. I keep telling everybody, I'm like, I cannot wait to see what a year from now looks like and kind of circling back to especially like probably April to July, like these months and this series of where we were, what we were going through and watching that growth to like a whole year later and really where we are. So um, there's some really potent stuff happening and um, I think it's really exciting. So I'm really excited for you. Uh, so again, I'm Rachel LaForest. This is Misfit Light. Love you, mean it.